George about to get these heifers out. Just been on one of our drives up to Savannah, the other station, and on our way back we thought we'd better stop in and have a look at what gorge, darling? Copperfield. Copperfield Gorge. He's probably laughing because I only asked him 30 seconds what the name of it was. So this is Rufy and Petal. Petal's just been let off the lead. Rufy's not a hundred percent sure. But... Rufy kind of wants to play, but I don't think they know how to play together yet. mustering all day and Rufus was on his lead and come back and apparently Petal and Rufy were laying together on the mat. I just gave him a bottle or her a bottle but as you can see she's still hungry. <laughs> she wants more and the finger's not gonna do it. Go yeah, and give her another half a bottle mm. Huh? She'll get another couple of bottles today. <laughs> Slobber. No. 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 people up over the rails. I think Langy's meant to be Ooh, over there as encouragement. There he is. Oh, well done. Still 
you're not a happy chappy. Now we've got to get rid of those wings. Let's leave him for the moment. Let's watch out for that game. Mister, you get out of the way. Paddock now. So we'll see whether he's well behaved or whether he's still got a bit of a temper on him. So far, so good. up over the rails but Little 
bit calm though, so maybe not. No, well behaved. morning all today is our last main day of mustering so the cattle got in yesterday we've drafted out majority of them we have to go back in and finish drafting them out and then um, you no know, brand and castrate and dehorn the ones that need to be done and turn them back out in the paddock and it really is the last of mustering as such and then it's all just the other little jobs that will come which are not quite so hectic so we've had really hot for us quite busy couple of weeks thoroughly loved every minute of it ed what do you think um i thought it was pretty good pretty good i liked it what do you think of early mornings uh, what do you think uh, of long days uh, what do you think of the heat uh, yeah but other than that we enjoyed it didn't we and here's our little friend just here. Petal. Petal. Petal's had brekkie this morning, haven't you, darling? Had big two litres and you were still wanting some more. Yes, you were looking for more at the end of that, wasn't you? Hello, Lucas. Back at Savannah for another trip, this time our main task was to put a float in this um, trough here. It's been overflowing for a while, so we just had to empty all the water out of it. But look at all the little wasps. I don't know if you can see them. I tell you, nasty little bites. I got one the first time I was here. Not pleasant at all, so. Fingers crossed, they keep to the water and not to us. See here some of the wee little bees that are up here. Getting the big, big toys out. Getting the big tools. Ants friggin' don't catch it. Yes. So on the way up here, <clears throat> I was in the passenger seat and just before we got here I was going to put on my shoes because I had thongs on. So I had the window down was driving along the boundary fence on the on the main road, but it's the boundary fence so I was going reasonably slow because it was checking out the fence line. And I was tapping out my shoes to make sure there was nothing in them. And I put my hand in it and a huntsman ran up my arm. So the huntsman and the shoe went out the window. Yeah. Hubby said lots of curse words. I had to go back and find oh, my shoe. Uh, F, F, say. Yes. Pretty much what I said. A few times. Here it is. All fixed and on. Just got to wait for it to fill up question will be how close will we be to the old fuel mark wasps did not I don't know if they wasp or they a bee or what they are Ooh. Ooh. Nice one was just on me oh, I think that stopped Uh, 
just come up more. That's spot on where it was. That was millimetre perfect. Good morning all. Only a couple of more days to go. And we're going to be moving on. But I got up a little while ago and there was no one around. Hubby's just got up. Not all of a sudden, we have an audience. They know. They know he's the one that brings him or them those little yummy little pellets they like to eat. They've all left. You may be wondering where they've all gone to. Where are all Charlie's adoring little fans? Oh, here they are, of course. Oh, and here comes my one little fan looking for her breakfast. Oh, and Rufy's fan, of course. No, no, it, you'll find that there is not. There is not. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't come from there. <laughs> you can bunt away all you like, darling, but you're not getting anything. Oh, no shoes on. <laughs> Hasn't got very big toes, but right, hang on. Hang on then. I'll go and feed you. <sighs> Demanding. Morning all. Here we are. Not long to go now, darling. Couple of days. Head off next week. Well, you're the only darling in the car. Oh yeah. Yeah, heading off. Look at that, rabbits. Rabbits. Thank you, mother, mother for, for the rabbits. rabbits. Uh, Heading up to Wilson. Yeah, again down the Sutton Cat out to the yards because we've got a load of decks and it's a dust pile basically. So we've got the mop up here and we're going up first, close it down, then we'll load the truck on the decks and dick about. some Aboriginal handprints up here and just stopped at this beautiful lookout overlooking so how far does Wellfern go Miranda see that hill yeah, over there would go about as far as I think that is the boundary that so line that of hills. those line of hills excellent so pretty much what we can see is either Wellfern or Ballinia yeah, really. so we just Clambered our way along this deadly starting place, looking in all the overhangs. Miranda found it, found one anyway. There it is. 
just there, you can see that. There's another one here somewhere in another little overhang. Yeah, as you say, it's a very small hand, isn't it? Mm, a child hand. So Miranda, our personal tour guide, the geologist, owner of property, has just been telling us about the layers in the sandstone through here. So she was saying that once upon a time, millions of years ago, this was all a huge river through here. Um, and this is sort of like the banks of the river and part to the river. Um, and this layer here of lots of pebbles is where there would have been a massive flood that year and lots of rocks and pebbles were washed down um, and they've settled here whereas these layers here is just normal normal flow of the river and it, you know sand's just settling still haven't found the second one but this looks like it's going to give me a beautiful view. Head out over this way. Look at that. That's just stunning, Miranda. Sorry? That's just beautiful. I think it is. Just arrived here at a station I've had in my surprise, so it's the neighbouring station where we brought the cattle to yesterday and I've come back today because we're going to move them today and there's an emu over there, I don't know if you can see an emu just over there, it's got four little chicks following it but they'll probably walk into the grass and you won't be able to see them just see little heads uh, so yesterday I came up on the canter and brought some lick for the cattle on their property and some hay for the cattle we put here in the yards Charlie drove up the Hino, the Hino with um, 25 these cattle on it and George came up in the Kenworth with the rest of them and today we're back up here again George is still coming with another three decks of cattle um, we've just been out Charlie's just gone off to the rubbish dump he has the canter at, at the moment and he's we've put more lick out and I've come up with one of the quad bikes and another ute's coming up with two other bikes and I believe the 
plan is to take them all out of here plus the lot that George is bringing and we walk them up here out onto the main road which is up there somewhere across the main road um, and up another road into their property so of course we can only bring three bikes I won't be on a bike today that's Charlie's bike Miranda and George will have a bike Ooly dooly so it's about 15 minutes since I last videoed the winds are picking up rains are coming we just heard from George who's coming in his truck and it's absolutely bucketing down where he is down over that way somewhere Woo, holy Fun. Don't know what Charlie's doing. Pumping up tires, is he? So this is the quad bike that I brought up on the back of my Ute, which when we left home. George gave Charlie strict instructions not to get off the ute, it left for him. And as you could see, one ute, one quad bike are no longer together. And George is not here. Oh no. Charlie is not going to wait to do something that he thinks he can do himself. And he did. But in all honesty, he has backed it up to the bank, so it's not quite as steep as George was visualising, we hope. George should know by now that Charlie doesn't wait for instructions, he just does. So George has arrived. Not too sure how well you can hear me, the wind has really picked up now. So we've got to unload these three decks in with these and then move them all across. These guys had torrential rain on the way up. I believe three blown tyres. I think one's still on there because it ran out of spares. Three flat tyres. Yeah. And I'll show you one. No, I don't, I've only seen one of the tyres. Um, I haven't seen the other two um, flat. But I would say this one's the worst. There's one. Holy macaroni on the other side there. Yeah. If you want it. job is to drive ahead and open the gates there's one gate here and I think there's another gate and then give it all clear when it's okay to cross the road and then go across the road and block a grid that goes up onto another road um, the cattle will be coming behind us somewhere you can't quite see them yet but they're I coming. believe they're out and are on their way Ed and I are a little bit nervous just in case we stuff it up or get it wrong or we can't get the gate in time or I don't know they get past us or something or other so I think we got the easy job but we're still stressed. <laughs> Charlie's got the lead. I've just parked the car across that grid. Miranda's opening the gate there. I reckon Miranda will get the road on this side and I'll get the road on this side.
There's all the cattle. Move in to what's the place called? Savannah. Savannah. Nice green grass, plenty of wood, plenty of water. Cows are in the right paddock. I don't mind thunderstorms. But they're just trying to lead them to where the uh, water is so they I know. They're gonna have to worry about water. Um but yeah they're getting away from them. So here they are. Still coming up through the bushes down there. Or oh, still way down there. Yeah. There's George. Oh yes. Looks like Miranda and Charlie have turned them. Getting them facing the right direction at least. I think you sort of just get them close and hold them steady until they settle down. They'll be able to smell the water. So. And then you leave them. I love a good thunderstorm. Probably should shut the door though, otherwise it'll be in the vehicle. It's heading home, just leaving Mount Surprise now. It's five o'clock. Charlie's got the canter in front of me. George and Miranda are somewhere behind us. Ed's enjoying the last little bit of internet before we drop out of range again. We should be home. Heading back to the station and it is bucketing down outside. There's a few lightning strikes. It's like a damn hurricane. woke up this morning and said right let's go so Ed's doing his last feed of the fan club Petrol is here desperately trying to get some food I better put some shoes on otherwise I'll get trodden on toes so there's the fan club right. Petal Petal, I have not got milk. Petal, I have not got milk for you. Ed's still mixing it up. Ed's still mixing it, girl. Oh, she's not going to be happy. I'm going to lose the thong. See, this is she does. She walks behind you and then she treads on the back of your shoe. There's nothing in the pedal. Does not come out of the back of the leg. The boy, oh, she's realised. Hang on, hang on. There she is. Ed's got a plan. He's going to try to beat, beat the limo to the bucket. There she is. 
swapsy doopsy. And Belinda. Good morning, everyone. Sadly, today is our last day. Thought was going to head off yesterday, but end up staying another day just to help do one last thing. Just come outside to have your coffee. It's about 5.30 in the morning. And look at that sunrise. Look at the beams coming up through that cloud. Beautiful. Doing one last drive out the gate. We said our goodbyes to George last night because he'd left in the truck and said goodbyes to Miranda and Petal this morning and the puppy dogs. How are we all feeling? We're keen and really enjoyed the stay. Yeah. Happy to go. Time to go. Yeah. Our last gate for a while. Yeah. Station Three. life is a gate. Gates and more gates. 3.2 kilometres exactly to the gate. Very sad times leaving someone's quite sad. Say goodbye to little Petal and George and Miranda and Amber and Misty. He's gonna miss them all. But looking forward to a new location. Through the gate of Ballinua. Bye bye Miranda. Until to next time. Yes, no, he said he'll hang on to it till we come back. Okay, I'll well, save trip today and um, I'll send you those photos that we just took when you get to Charter Towers and stay in touch. Will do. Okay, Bye. here we go. Oh, I'm the licorice, I was going to say, the next time. Not even out the gate, Ed, barely. Back in his favourite posse. 